What up guys, it's Chris. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a fixture profile that I have been working on for a few weeks now um, for Resolume 7. If you've been using Resolume for a long time, you'll know that back in the day, back in the Resolume 4 and 5 days, they used to have a feature called the DMX Auto Map. And in the Preferences tab in Resolume, you would check a box um, you know, that basically said uh, you wanted to use the DMX Auto Map. And from there, Resolume provided a fixture profile for the MA2 or for any other lighting console, a hog or an ETC, whatever. Um, and you could then trigger clips uh, kind of like you would normally do from a lighting standpoint. So when uh, Resolume updated from 5 to 6, um, they discontinued the auto map feature. They still uh, were allowed you to have a DMX input so you could still control it via DMX. They just kind of went away with that auto map feature, which uh, to be fair, you know, when I had used it, I really didn't use hardly any of the features that was in that profile. Uh, I have taken that profile and then edited it down to kind of make it work more uh, with Resolume 7 and more of what I would want as a lighting programmer controlling a, a media server. So let's just take a quick look. Here we are in MA, and uh, the first thing you'll know is we have a little layout view. It's just one fixture, Resolume Arena. Um, we have our little group tab. If we go into the setup patch, you can see if we go into our fixture types, you can see I have a CG Res 7 layer. We'll click on this and we'll take a quick look. Um, we have our intensity, we have clip select, playback speed, direction, playback mode, playback head, transition speed. Uh, I won't read the rest, but you can kind of see from here. These are all things that I find useful. Uh, again, as a lighting programmer, programming video. So this is why I have included um, such. I have also changed some of the default values here um, to make it kind of default to more what Resolume defaults to. So now that we see, uh, if we look at our breakdown here in the course column, you can see that the actual you know DMX uh, readout. This is a 22 fixture, sorry, 22 channel fixture, and. Uh, what I've done is I've just kind of written down what you would patch uh, each layer in uh, in a Microsoft Word doc, which I'll attach uh, in the con in the uh, description below. Now that we know the order and how things are going to be numbered within our Resolume uh, fixture in MA, and now that we've patched one at Universe 10 uh, address one, we can now go ahead and take a look into the Resolume side of things. Uh, so here we are in Resolume. Uh, I just have a few clips and I have four layers in our show file right now. Basically what I've done is I've kind of made uh, the mapping for each of these four layers. Uh, if we go to our shortcuts and then edit DMX, uh, you'll kind of see that a lot of the things over here are populated. Now let's kind of get into this a little bit more. Um, if we go to on the right hand side here you can see that there's uh, shortcuts I'm selected on MA2 you can also go to default um, which would be you know uh, I've stored a few things there but it's nothing too crazy we can go back to our MA2 preset and then it will uh, assign everything just the way I left it you can also make a new you know save as here's all your options um, so if you take a quick look at layer one you can see a uh, composition layer one uh, video opacity, Lumaverse 1, channel 1. Um, my clip select is going to be channel 2. Uh, my uh, layer speed is going to be channel 3, and so forth. And everything through uh, 22. Again, you can see down here in the layers we have scale X, Y, and Z. Or sorry, scale uh, X and Y, rotation X, Y, and Z, anchor X, Y, and Z, and all sorts of things. Uh, again, <clears throat> I've made the list in Microsoft Word so that if you wanted to go in and kind of uh, patch these in yourselves, you can. But I've also included uh, in the comments, sorry, but I've, uh, but I've also included in the description uh, a link to the XML file. So if we go back into our edit here, um, we'll go into our drop down. We can just show in Explorer here. I've included this XML file. Um, 
for you guys. Uh, so the last thing I'll show you guys is back in the DMX tab, uh, you can see that we've been assigning everything to channel 1 at Lumaverse 1. If we escape out of this, we're just going to go into our preferences, into our DMX tab, and you can see the DMX inputs we have for Lumaverse 1. You remember in Grand MA, we had this patched in Universe 10. That's why we are in at Universe 9. Artnet Universes 0 is actually 1. So just proof of concept very quickly. Um, we're going to have both screens up. Right now, you can now see that if I grab my fixture here and I uh, toggle highlight, that you can see that uh, our intensity is up on the layer. And if I go to Gobo at the top here, you can see that I'm able to scroll through the clips. I'm going through my clip select. Uh, let's see what else do we want to do. Uh, oh, sorry, back in Gobo, you can see that I have my uh, playback speed. I have my playback mode. Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab a actual video so that we can see these things move. You can see that I'm going from loop to bounce. You can see that my playback speed is going very fast, and now it's uh, slowed down. Let's clear everything out here. Grab our layer again. Um, we will go kind of scroll through some of these uh, transition times. You can see that I'm moving the, the T handle right next to the solid color, the first clip there. Um, if we go and kind of scroll through our transition modes, you should see that they are also changing in Resolume. Um, I've also, what I've done is I've, out of the 255 options, I've kind of figured out, this, figured out the spacing of them. And we can go through, and now if I pick light in here, um, it should reflect light in uh, down here. That's going to be for our transition mode. Uh, if we go back to, let's see. If we go to uh, in beam, if we go to layer effect, you can see that there's kind of the same options here. We'll scroll all the way down and we'll pick something different. Maybe we'll pick something like push right. And uh, again, down at the uh, bottom here, we can see that it says push right. Um, so that's kind of the most basic explanation of what I got going on here. Um, I just figured that because Resolume can kind of seem daunting at first, if you don't really know it, if you don't know how to assign things, what you even want to control, I feel like this is a good base for uh, lighting people who are trying to program a video, you know, on a basic level that just maybe needs to loop a few things or, or you know, bring a few layers up here, there, and everywhere. Um, I am going to make everything that we talked about shareable. So the XML file for the uh, Resolume shortcuts, I'm going to give you guys my DMX, uh, sorry, my MA2 uh, fixture personality. And I will leave uh, a copy, a PDF of the Word document to show you guys the channel layout for the first four layers. So I hope this was helpful. And if you guys have any, you know, comments or any, you know, things that I can, you know, maybe do better making this fixture profile better, um, just let me know.